great. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. When's the bus coming in now? When it gets here, baby, it'll be here, okay? Aunt No, can I drop the quarters in the box? Okay. Open hand. Let's see. Here you go. Four. Uh, excuse me, miss. I mm -hmm. don't have the exact change. Could you change your dollar? Oh, sure. No, no problem. He's okay. Uh, he okay? Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my baby's life. Thank you. Be beginner's luck. <laughs> Beginner's luck? If you hadn't have pulled him out the way, that bus could have killed my baby. Oh, you're a hero. Me? Oh, no, no, I'm no hero. Although I did get a cousin to stop smoking. <laughs> Unfortunately, the next day he was hit by a bus. <laughs> There's always another bus. Excuse me. I owe you so much for saving my baby's life and all. Uh, have you had lunch yet? No, I haven't. Then it's settled. I don't want to hear any back talk. You're coming home with me. Well, Come on. Well, I didn't know you people took strangers into your homes. That's a frightening story. You're so brave. Oh. Joey is really lucky you were there to save him. He wouldn't stop his cousin from smoking. Mm. <laughs> this is delicious. What did I just eat? Tomato soup. Oh, it's very interesting. What's it made of? <laughs> tomatoes. Oh. We don't have tomatoes where I come from. Oh. Ta da! In honor of our hero, a hero sandwich. Oh, how do you like that? I'm in town 10 minutes and they name a sandwich after me. <laughs> oh, Dave, are you ever cute? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that soup. Filled me up. Uh, could I take this home with me? Of course you can. So what, uh, Dave? Where are you from? Oh, not too many people have heard of it. It's called Zoran. Oh, I think I drove to there once on my way to Alabama. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You see, Zoran is not in your solar system. Neither is Alabama. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us he's from outer space. Oh. Wow! And now, I finally met somebody from outer space. <laughs> I just knew that sooner or later, an alien would show up here in Glen Lawn. <laughs> so uh, tell me, Dave, do you know Darth Vader? Who? You know, Star Wars. Star Wars? Oh, yes, your president's defense plan for outer space. <laughs> He means Star Wars, the movie. Oh, well, I don't see many movies. My area on Zoran doesn't get cable. <laughs> doesn't get cable. Uh, all right, Dave, just exactly where are you from? Zoran. Hi. <laughs> then you're really telling us that you're from another planet. Yeah, but I don't tell it to a lot of people. You never know how they're going to react. Oh, look, you people put your fish in water. <laughs> you a personal question just what are you doing here on planet earth vacation vacationing did you hear that joey isn't that nice this nice man is on a vacation from zoran and he came all the way from outer space in this hawaiian shirt <laughs> 
No, no, I got the shirt in Sacramento. You see, there was a mix-up and my luggage went to Mars. Mars. Okie doke. Look, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a baggie for your hero, okay? So, uh, Dave, old pal, do you have any pictures of Zoran? No, the electron configuration of matter on Zoran doesn't respond to Earth-type optics. What does that mean? Pictures don't come out. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Hi, everybody. Hey, Katie! Call me my new best pal, Dave. He's an alien. Oh, an alien. Buenos dias. <laughs> Katie and Dave should get along great. <laughs> yeah, well, it was really nice meeting you, Dave. Oh, um, adios. Ah, <laughs> uh, could I please see you in the kitchen a minute, Julie? I need help with the nut cake. <laughs> the man is Looney Tune. I think he's kind of cute. Cute? Oh, he's probably a harmless eccentric just having some fun. Julie, the man has Joey believing that he's from out of space. Now, he hasn't said anything that's impossible, you know. A lot of people believe that Earth isn't the only planet with intelligent life. Why me? Come on, now. we don't want to be rude to our guest. Oh, no. We don't want to upset Dave, because he might get mad and throw a lunar eclipse. <laughs> Hello, Nell. Will you tell Julie I'll be a little late? I've got a million pizzas left to deliver. We're real busy tonight. It's Sinatra's birthday. Listen, Jonathan, now I want to ask you a hypothetical question. Now, say a man came to your house and was say that um, he's in your living room and he's wearing a, a, a Hawaiian shirt. And his, say his name is Dave, I don't know. Anyway, he says he's on vacation from outer space. What would you do? <laughs> well, I admit my first instinct might be disbelief, but studying astronomy as widely as I have now, I've come to believe that in life on another planet is not without possibility. In fact, the current changes in the Earth's atmosphere might indeed be a product of heightened intergalactic molecular activity, <laughs> which may result in the closening of interplanetary <laughs> And then again, if you take... Hello? Hello? So, that's the way kids learn on Zoran. Isn't that neat, Julie? It certainly is. Dave, do you people come here often? Mm, oh, yes, yes. The heightened intergalactic molecular activity facilitates it, <laughs> as well as the closing of our interplanetary contact. That makes sense. Mm. That's how I got here. Through molecular activity? Yep, the old M.A. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a schedule right here. You know, since they... They went private. You know, the, the service has kind of run down, but, but once in a while you can get... Oh, no. What's wrong? I've lost my traveler's checks. <laughs> Were they American Express? <laughs> no, Zoran First National. Oh, that's too bad. Oh. Hey, maybe they're with your luggage on Mars. Of course. That's where they are. <laughs> hey. Put them there, pal. What's that? <laughs> this is the way we shake hands on Zoran. Come oh, on, yeah, put them that's there. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> hey, now look. This is the way they shake hands on Zoran. That's right. And you know what else about Zoran? What, honey? If a kid doesn't want to go to school, he can stay home. We have a different educational system. We use an electron transfer of thought process instead of going to school. I've just got to get to that planet. <laughs> Just take the number four bus and change it Saturn. Uh, excuse me, I uh, got to check on that nut cake. <laughs> the man wants Joey to drop out of school and to go to Zoran. It's out of space. On the bus. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right about Dave. He seems a little too caught up in his own fantasies. I think I'd better call the State Mental Institute to see if they're missing a space cadet. <laughs> no, when you get him, what are you going to tell them? You don't even know his name. Oh, Julie, don't be so dumb. You heard the man. He said his name is Dave. <laughs> Dave what? <laughs> 
I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> All kids on Zoran stay up as late as they like. See, the solar cycle is much oh, longer. Dave. <laughs> yes, Nell. You know, we're having such a good time with you and all, you know, and we really want to keep in contact with you when you go back up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what did you say your last name was? Mm, I don't have one. What? Uh, on Zoran, we don't have last names. <laughs> Dave, listen. I didn't just get off the Greyhound bus with a chicken, you know? <laughs> know that everybody in outer space has a last name. There's Flash Gordon, there's Buck Rogers, there's even Mr. Spock. <laughs> nope, on Zoran, we don't have last names. Well, you, you can't be the only Dave there. How do they tell you apart? Oh, well, there's old Dave, young Dave, fat Dave, thin Dave, tall Dave, short Dave, <laughs> cheap Dave. Hold it. Which Dave are you? Oh, well, you guessed it before. I'm Cute Dave. Cute Dave. Well, Cute Dave Jr., actually. See, my father was cute, too. And my grandfather. Our whole family's been cute for generations. Would you excuse me? I have to check on the... Not okay. Okay. <laughs> the man is ten bricks shy of a full load. I still think he's kind of cute. That's his name. Cute Dave. <laughs> oh. Hi, Simpson. Yeah, hi, Julie. Simpson, thank heaven you are here. Listen, I gotta get to class, but yeah. Nell really needs your help. Yeah, I need a cup of coffee. Simpson, please, I can wait, please. Oh, please, Nell, huh? I'm bushed. The switchboard's been lit up like a Christmas tree. I must have had 15 crazies call in, tell me they spotted a UFO. Simpson, let me get this straight. Fifteen calls. UFO. Glenlawn. Yeah. One of them was from the mayor. <laughs> mayor? Hey, you mean Dave is really from... Oh, come on, now, get it together. That is impossible. <laughs> then again, if Mayor Hopkins says that he saw a UFO, that... Simpson, listen, are you sure it was the mayor who called? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know his voice. Last month, he called when he seen a giant crab coming up from the river. <laughs> the mayor has a fondness for an occasional tequila sunrise. <laughs> Simpson, listen, there is a man in my living room who says he's from Zoran. Now, I want you to go in there and arrest him. But, Gene, L., there's no law against being from out of town. <laughs> I come from Bakersfield originally myself. Simpson, I'm talking about outer space. And he wants to take Joey back with him on the number four bus. <laughs> No kidding, that bus goes right by my house. They kill the bus, they arrest him. <laughs> Calm yourself, Nell. This guy sounds like he's probably just one of them, you know, harmless eccentrics. I know how to handle cases like this. They gave us a lot of this stuff at the police academy. And I never miss an episode of Miami Vice. <laughs> Please, Nell, you just humor him along, and he won't feel threatened, and he'll go away. Hey, you just might be right. Sure, you got to be gentle with these people, you know? Listen to their problems, laugh at their jokes. Yeah, you just might be right. Either that, or I could just go in there and rough them up. <laughs> Thanks, 
Simpson. Oh, yeah. Any time, Nell, huh? And thanks for the coffee. Yeah. Why me? <laughs> okay, humor him. Humor him up. Down, bum, bum, bum. Da -da. Look at Nell. He was just telling me he used to be a dancer on Zora. Oh, so Zora's a big show business planet, huh? Oh, yes, indeed. So that's why they don't need last names. It's just Sammy, Frank, Liza. That's right. Small Sammy, thin Frank, <laughs> nervous Liza. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, now, join in. Anything you say. Oh, you know this? Sure. <laughs> Do 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 the grapevine and the break. Dum bum bum jum bum 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 bum. The back essence. I never dreamed when Joey and I were at the bus stop this morning that we would end up dancing with an alien. <laughs> we can use you on Zora, Nell. You have a natural rhythm. <laughs> I imagine that uh, you'll be leaving soon. Depends on how much fun I'm having. Okay, everybody, let's take it home. The big finish. Trenches. Da bum and dum da dum da dum da dum bum 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 and the bow. To Zoran. Sounds like so much fun. We'll see. Okay? <laughs> uh, Dave, would you please excuse us? Um, Joey got a little overheated and I need to wipe him down. I'll be right back, Dave. Yeah. Adios. Isn't Dave the greatest guy in the world? Yeah. You know, honey, sometimes people would tell us things that uh, they like to believe. You know, like Dave. Dave would like to believe that he's from outer space. <laughs> and me, well, uh, I would like to believe that I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, I know that. <laughs> but I don't believe that Dave is from outer space. You don't like Dave, do you? Hey, that's not true. I like Dave. He saved your life. But that doesn't mean that I won't step in and try to protect an innocent, trusting little boy that's only nine years old. Dave says he's only seven. <laughs> Dave says he's only seven. Why me? <laughs> uh, I'll get that. Joey, why don't you run upstairs, baby, and get your camera? Okay, good idea. A camera? Great. Could you take a picture of Joey for me? I'd like to take a pic... Oh, I get it. You want to take a picture of me? Because I told you Zeronians can't be photographed. You still don't believe me. Why shouldn't I believe you? You're from a tap-dancing planet that doesn't have a photo map. <laughs> Why me? I ask first. <laughs> Look, I'm not some hick from Venudo. You know. I shouldn't have told you anything about Zoran. Every time we come here, it's the same old story. You either claim we're a weather balloon or you call us swamp gas, which I find a fairly insulting nickname. Hold on, you got me all wrong. I have nothing against you. I just don't want you confusing Joey. But Joey isn't the one who's confused. He believes me when I talk about all the fun we have on Zoran. That's exactly my point. I don't want Joey growing up believing every silly little thing that he hears. Well, why not? I did. Silly things can be true. A lot of people told Columbus he was silly, too. But if he'd believed them, who would they have named that city in Ohio after? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll admit that sometimes it is hard for me to accept new things. But then again, I am not nine years old anymore. If you lived on Zoran, you would be. <laughs> oh, it's too bad people on Earth have to grow up. Our minds stay as young and as fresh as Joey's. We never get old. Dave, 
If I believed that, I would be at that bus stop like a shot. <laughs> Nell, look, don't worry. I'll leave, and I won't let Joey come with me. Thank you. Put new film in and everything. Uh, look, would it be pushing things if I asked for some of that exotic tomato soup? Of course not. Coming right up. I'd like to take some back home with me for my girlfriend, Easy Alice. <laughs> Cute. Coming right up. I'm gonna put some crackers in with the soup for your girlfriend, Easy Alice. Well, you're sure in a good mood. I most certainly am. Dave and I came to an agreement, and he's leaving. I think he's cute. So does he. <laughs> he also thinks he's from another planet. <laughs> oh, which one? <laughs> Baby, why don't you just go in the living room and keep Dave and Joey company? There's nobody in the living room. Joey! Joey? Woody! He lied to me. He took my child and man from Zoran. Is this the bus I take if I want to come visit you? Uh, yeah, look, I, I meant to talk to you about that, Joey. S see, my apartment on Zoran is a little small for visitors. Why don't we just wait until I get another vacation and then I'll come back here and see you? Okay. Well, I gotta go, Joey. Hey, wait, wait a second, Dave. Um, excuse me, mister. Can you please take a picture of my friend and me? Oh, sure, uh, Joey, Joey, I told you it won't come out. Please, Dave, at least I'll have a picture of where you were standing. Oh. Wait! Oh, I don't think we got it! No, I gotta go, Joey. But oh. Dave! Yeah, uh, oh, hey! <laughs> so long, pal. Bye! Hi, Joey. Bye! See you soon. Okay! you leave the house? Oh, honey, just, I'm just so happy that you're all right, okay? They left Aunt Nell. He's on his way back to Zoran. Sweetheart, don't be so sad, okay? Look, let's just hope that he has a very safe trip, all right? Now smell. from the one-hour photo shop. Oh, great. Thanks, Julie. Sure. I can't wait to see the pictures of me and David at the bus stop. And now... I don't see anything. Right. Just like Dave said. You can't take a picture of a person from Zoran. Come here, baby. <laughs> Look, the reason you can't see Dave is because that woman right there is standing <laughs> Legs. Look, no legs, baby. No the reason you can't see his legs is because that woman right there got her purse in front of his legs. And now Dave's not there. I knew he was real. All right, well, right. Wait a minute. Hold on. See up there? Look, there's his hair right there. There's his hair. Mm. Now that's the trees. And uh -huh. you didn't believe it? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, oh, no, no. Look at now. There's that shirt. That's a whole lot of shirt. Yeah. 